cheesy pesto puffs are like breadsticks, but better. Flaky layers of dough stuffed with pesto and cheese will wow your family and friends. You'll be dipping into the fun in no time. So grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to make some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. Hit the red subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when new videos go live. Thaw the puff pastry according to the instructions and preheat the oven according to the box. Mine was 400 degrees. Gently roll it onto a lined cookie sheet. Remember that the dough must be cold to the touch. Using about the length of two fingers twice, make two inch strips for a total of six strips. Then place in the fridge or freezer for a few minutes to cool back down. Add the pesto randomly over the dough and spread it over using a silicone brush for the best results. Use your fingers or a small spatula to loosen the dough strips. To a strip, starting from about half an inch from the end, add cheese to the middle, leaving enough room on each side to seal it. Pinch the sides together, starting at one end and moving to the other. Flip the ends up and pinch it closed. Repeat with the other dough strips and place in the fridge or freezer. Refrigerate for 10 minutes or freeze for 5. Remove the cookie sheet from the fridge or freezer and leave 2 inches between each one. Flip the dough seam side down. Make an egg wash and brush on the top of the dough. Bake according to the puff pastry instructions and possibly a minute or two longer. This was 10 to 12 minutes for me. Give them a minute or two to rest when they come out of the oven and cut each one in half for a total of 12. See the blog for alternate instructions for 12 individual puffs. Cheesy pesto puffs are so full of flavor, you'll want them with your spaghetti, your salads, for an appetizer, or whenever the mood strikes. The light and airy texture with the crispy crunch is such a nice alternative to a heavy breadstick. I bet you can't eat just one. I know I can't. For the full printable recipe, head over to mrskrinkleskitchen.com. Until then, here's a few more videos for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up.